Uh, I'm a member. I don't think I ever told you guys this, but I'm a member of the Disney Disney Movie Club. And uh, if you, ever, I don't know how many people pay attention to when they buy if they buy movies that are Disney related because nowadays uh, any Disney movie that you buy or pretty much just about anyone, they'll give you like a little like like rewards or whatever uh, points or whatever like a code that you put in. You go to the Disney Movie Rewards website and and you get uh, you know points or whatever for buying purchasing and buying the uh, Disney movie. And I kind of cheat a little bit. I I didn't use all my points or whatever. They were all from the stuff that I purchased. I, I actually took some of mom and dad's films or whatever that they have that are Disney related. And yeah, okay, call it cheating, whatever. But I kind of cheated a little bit and so I get more points or whatever and just use up the rewards. But they won't never use them at all. They just buy movies. They don't care what's in the box or whatever, what's in the case. There's lots of the disc works. That's all they care about. They don't even care about the special features or nothing. My parents, you know, so... And I mean, same with me here and there, but it depends on what movie we're talking about. Anyway, <laughs> so I ramble some more. So I got this, and I know it's inside already, but look how big this fucking thing is. So it's really, really long. It's like, Harvey matey, I found the lost treasure. <laughs> I found the lost treasure. It's like a periscope or Paris. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, it's so long that they, uh, it was kind of funny when they when I got this. Yeah, uh, they didn't give me a yellow slip or whatever. They actually, what they did was, oh, they gave me a. They gave me uh, what did they give me? Yeah, they put this in the mailbox and uh, they just put it in there because they, they knew it was gonna fit. So at the other end of, of their end anyway. It was a long pull or whatever, like almost ready to fall down, but luckily I just grabbed it and, you know, went away with it. But now, let's see what's inside. See why the why they needed to put a big one in here. Because I already know what's in here. Oh, come on. Get in here. Come on now. <laughs> Damn. Hold on, maybe I gotta open the other side too. I didn't think I would have to. I thought I could get it by. Oh, hubba bubba. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. What's inside? Okay, well, this is the first thing. Okay. Disney, blah blah. We have five movies for $1.99 each. Well, I already have a membership, so... Yeah, but I... Wonder who account if you actually got... Since I got the Blu-ray account. Yeah. Sorry I'm boring you guys, but... Try to make this video maybe into a couple parts, maybe. Uh... So let's see what else is in here. I know there's something here. Rather than just... You guys see anything in here at all? Can you tell? <laughs> There's something in here, but I don't know how the hell I'm going to get it out of here. Of course, I had to put it way in the freaking... <laughs> okay, well, that works. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. If I see what it is, it is... Yes, it's a two-sided poster. 18 by 24, I believe, two-sided poster of bedtime stories. And don't ridicule me because, uh, you know, by now you know that I like, you know, stuff that's kind of hip or whatever, whether it's 80s related or 90s related or, well, even Adam Sandler related or Disney related. And this is from the movie Bedtime Stories. This is the poster that I'll put up in my room. I don't know which side, which side should I use? This side? Or this side, it's double sided. And it was free, it didn't cost anything. They didn't even charge me shipping handling or nothing, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, I like it. That's really cool. Well, I got it because, you know, I do like Adam Sandler here and there. I mean, he's a pretty good, he's a pretty good uh, entertainer and, you know, just very good. But, uh, 
yeah, we're gonna go for a little walk. So if you just uh, hang tight and come join me for a walk down to the library while we're on our little dinner break here. I'm already eating already. Uh, let's talk about some stuff here. What's up coming? Okay. All right. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let's go to the next part here. Big bang. <laughs> Well, we are walking. We're gonna go for a walk now. It's a beautiful little fire town here. Well, actually, still on my walk a bit. But uh, look at here. <laughs> Water. And over here, we've had. I think we've had a we've had a lot of rain. We've had too much rain. Way too much. But uh, I'm not gonna talk about rain in today's video because you can hear about rain anytime in your area. I'm sure. I'm going to talk about what I talked about here a couple days ago, or uh, what day was it I talked about this? Wednesday. Wednesday night. And I was talking about how uh, here by next Friday, a week from today, uh, my brother and his girlfriend, well, it's going to be my, they're going to have my brother's baby, well, my, his brother's, my brother's girlfriend anyway is going to be having his baby. I guess my brother can't have babies, you know, no guy can have babies, I guess, unless you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> but, <laughs> anyway, uh, and I'm just kind of wondering, you know, now that I'm going to be officially an uncle, and I'm sure there's many of you guys who have kids, or who whose brothers or sisters have kids and whatnot, and can I ask you a serious question, Does, did it ever change you? after you became an uncle or an aunt or, or whatever or you became a father did, did it ever change you guys at all? So I'm thinking that you know now that my brother now that I'm going to be officially an uncle in one week in less than one week I don't know I, I think it's time to kind of I think it's going to change me a little bit I think it's going to change me to the point where you know I'm going to be kind of more want to act more growing up a little bit I mean, never forget all the fun I I like to have and everything out of, our, out of the bridge here and everything. But I don't know. It is something that I was thinking about. Let me get. Uh, let me know. Give me some feedback. I'd like to know. I'd like to seriously know what you guys go through and if it ever changed you guys. You know what? When, when your brothers or sisters or you know had kids or or if you had a kid or whatever. Is it as serious as they say it is? Or is this just a, uh, a beginning of something even greater? I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> that's all I really wanted to know. Uh, but, uh... Because I've been thinking about that. And, and, you know, we've been planning about planning this for a while. And, uh, well, they've been planning it. And next Friday is the, the official date, due date. And I don't even know what time they're going to have the kid at. If it's going to be in the afternoon or if it's going to be early in the morning or whatever. That's unless she doesn't go into labor any time between now and then. That still could happen, but I think uh, I think it should be pretty. I think it should be healthy. She's going to have a C-section anyway, so no matter what, uh, the baby's going to be here next Friday. So anyway, I just wanted to ask you guys that question. Leave comments down below. Uh, I'm going to make this video kind of a two-parter with the packaging opening and all that. And this part here. Just so it's not too damn boring. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another great daily summer vlog. Ice Chihuahua.